Hey math fans, Jason Marshall here with a special look at calculating the true value of phi, the golden ratio, from Math Dude episode 17. In that episode, we looked at the relationship between the Fibonacci sequence and the golden mean, phi, a number equal to about 1.618. But phi doesn't equal exactly 1.618. It's what's called an irrational number, the most famous of which is pi. Irrational numbers can't be represented exactly using decimal numbers. They extend out an infinite number of digits and never repeat. That's all we'll say for now about irrational numbers. We'll talk more about them in a future podcast episode. But just because a number is irrational doesn't mean we can't write it exactly. So, how can we write a number that has an infinite number of decimal digits without writing an infinite number of numbers? Well, as we've talked about, Phi is a special number, in a lot of ways. And here's one. It satisfies phi plus 1 equals phi squared. That is, adding 1 to phi gives the same answer as squaring it, 2.618. This gives us a quadratic formula for phi, so let's solve it. I should say, we haven't talked about solving quadratic equations in the podcast yet either, and we won't go through the details here. So if you don't already know how to do it, for now, you'll just have to take my word for it. But eventually, we will cover this in the podcast. So, phi squared minus phi minus 1 equals 0 is the quadratic equation to solve. Let's use the trusty formula for the solution to a quadratic equation. Here, a equals 1, and b and c are both equal to negative 1. There are two solutions to the quadratic equation, one of which is 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2, which, yes, you guessed it, has a decimal value of approximately 1.618. In other words, whereas 1.618 is an approximation to phi, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 is the exact value of phi. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, this is Jason Marshall with this week's Math Dude Video Extra. Thanks for watching, math fans.